The nine day games brought together more than 2,400 athletes from 45 countries and regions to compete in a 16 sport competition that served as a dress rehearsal for the Youth Olympic Games, which will also be held in Nanjing, the capital of East China's Jiangsu province, next summer. Host country China turned out on top, winning 46 gold medals, 23 silver and 24 bronze. South Korea secured second place with 25 golds. Japan came in at a distant third place with just seven golds. 19 of the 45 NOCs took home gold, while 29 NOCs won at least one medal. At the closing ceremony, Timothy Fock, the vice president of the Olympic Council of Asia, praised the event and the athletes who took part. The one-hour finale show ended with the traditional handing over of the flag to a delegation from Hambantota, Sri Lanka, which will host the third edition of the Games in 2017. Hambantota was one of the Sri Lankan coastal regions devastated by the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami. However, its government has since embarked on an extensive rebuilding program of sea terminals and airports, city infrastructure and along with some newly added world-class sporting facilities. Along with the closing ceremony of the AYG, 13,000 volunteers also celebrated the completion of their hard work. We have been training since July the 21st. We started while at our school and then came here to train in the venues. It was hard work. We would arrive here early at 6 or 7 in the morning and would stay until 10 or 11 in the evening. We had to carry a lot of things and learn a lot. Anyway, we are very happy to be a part of the event. The hard-working volunteers say they're now looking forward to the Youth Olympic Games to be held in Nanjing next year. I will certainly serve as a Young Olympic Games volunteer next year if I have the time. I hope I will do better in the Young Olympic Games thanks to my experience and efforts.